Sarah here from Scattered Pictures and Memories and I have a new mini album to show you today so we're just going to do a flip through and this is a Baroque style mini album with Graphic 45's Vintage Hollywood Paper Collection. I just love this collection. It's so beautiful. So I've used the Tim Holtz whoops, I've used the Tim Holtz Movers and shap Shapers Baroque die. I've had this in my stash forever and I've never used it and I thought oh it's about time to do it and so I've decided I decided to make this little mini album so I've just got a binder ring as the closure okay. and on it I've got some gold and black uh, trims some black seam binding ribbon and just some gold trim I had in my stash a little mirror charm and I made this with one of the stamps so I put it on the um, little frame and covered the stamp with glossy accents and then one of the tags from the collection and then I just backed it with some of the pattern paper. So on the cover I've used one of the decorative chipboards and um, I punched or I cut the covers out of chipboard and then covered them and I think next time when I do this I will cover them first and then cut them out because it was really difficult to get everything lined up. I've added a couple of flowers, added a little stickles to them just to give, give them some sparkle. There you go. And a couple of black uh, rhinestones for some bling. Okay. So the first page, I, this, I love this image, so I used uh, this lady and I cut her out and made a little pocket behind her. So you can, a little cut out from the 8x8. You can put some uh, photos in there or put some blank paper and do some journaling. Okay, so this is a pocket page. So I made the mats in here. They're quite small because it's a small album, but they'll fit a 2x3, so a small wallet size. And I uh, matted them on craft cardstock and then I used black cardstock. And I had this punch again in my stash that I almost never use and I thought well now's a good time to use it because the fancy edges really do go nicely with this collection so in the pocket there I left this uh, from the tags and envelopes I left this open so you tuck something in behind it okay, so the next page I cut the large stamp out and again, I just tucked in a little cutout from the 8x8 as a booklet and added one of the chipboard pieces. I thought this page needed something, and this is so pretty. So for the next page, I've actually got a, a diagonal belly band. I guess you can still call it a belly band. added one of the uh, pieces from the tags and envelopes and two more cutouts. So you can use those as photo mats. Oops. So the next page. Just pull this out. So I have a belly band going across, and I put a couple of gold studs on there. Oops. There you go. So I've got a new setup for my video camera, and I'm just getting used to it. And then just a cut out. And then I made a accordion fold booklet here. So I put a bunch of pictures or do some journaling. And I just kept it closed with, I used a little gold paper clip and folded a stamp over the edge. So I just kept keep the booklet closed and attached with that. Okay, so whoops. So this is actually a magnet and it holds this little booklet in. So you could put a photo here as well as a couple inside the booklet, but I thought that was fun to use the magnet there. Okay. So another vertical band and I actually cut it out of the same paper as the background so you can can't really tell that it's there. So that's kind of cool looking. A couple of the stamps. I just love these images. They're so beautiful. Okay. And on this one, another small vertical band. 
tags and pockets. Just tucked in there. And then another of the decorated paper clips. I just made this one into a little banner. And then this tiny booklet from the stamps. There's a little belly band around it. Or, and again, it's just an accordion fold. I just love these images so much. So you can leave it plain or put some tiny pictures on the back or even a blank page and do some journaling. And there's the band. This one, this is another pocket. So, and I added the chipboard piece up here, the theater and motion picture one, and I think I left it open. I may not have. Nope. And this is another magnet page. So the magnet's tucked into the inside the booklet underneath the mat. Just decorated it with a stamp, and so it just snaps on there. So you could put a photo here, a couple of photos in here, or some journaling. And this is the second last page. So I used, again, the stamps. They're just so beautiful um, as the band here. And this is cut from the 12 by 12, this little booklet. And the last page, just another pocket with a photo mat. And then the beautiful floral pattern on the, on the back. So actually, I, like I said, I cut the covers out of chipboard. Each of the pages, there's actually craft cardstock between them to give some weight to the pages. Um, and again, I think I would uh, glue the papers down and then do the die cutting. Um, there's a lot of inking around the edges which hides where it didn't quite line up. <laughs> but uh, it's definitely harder to add the pattern paper to your die cut afterwards. <laughs> so a little tip there. So I hope you like this album and I will have some more albums and tutorials coming up soon. So stay tuned, give me a thumbs up if you like my album, and uh, check out my other videos. So have a great day, bye!